Knoxville, Tennessee. And being black and trans in the community is hard. People don't realize how much we go through just to get to where we're at. And then I also feel like it's a argument between white trans men and black trans men and we do not love to communicate with each other and I want to change that because I feel like we don't get heard more than white trans men do. And so I find it very stressful and I get very upset about how these white privileged trans men get everything handed to them and you know, me as being a black trans man, I have to struggle to get to where I'm at. I'm literally trying to get to point A to point B. And when I look for certain resources, there's nothing for black trans men. It's all for, you know, <laughs> one, one specific race. And I feel like it shouldn't be that way. And the struggle is, is that we get looked at differently. When I go out in public, I get stares. Um, when I go in the bathroom, people are like, who is, who the hell are you? And it's many times that I've walked in the male bathroom and people stare at me and they're like, you know, you know you're, you're in the wrong bathroom. I'm like, no, I'm in the right bathroom. This is where I'm supposed to be at. So I feel like when I go out in public as a black trans man, I get looked down upon more with, I don't want to say white people, but as in general, being black and being trans, you get looked at by both races. And even with my family, they're like, you know, you are gonna walk down the street, people are gonna taunt you, people are going to call you names, people are gonna say you're gonna rape someone because you're trans and that's all a myth. Like, we are all cool people, we are all the same, we are no different than one another and I shouldn't have to be fighting to be black and trans. I shouldn't be telling you, oh look, I'm trans, listen to me, but my voice is already heard because I'm already here and you're not gonna take me away. And I feel like people want to do that. So even on social media, people are like, oh, well, you're black and trans, so that means you're not educated enough. And I'm like, educated on what, my sexuality? Like, I already know who I am. So it's just like, you know, at this point in life, I feel like we need to come together as a whole, as trans men, not as one race and trans men. And I want to stop that stigma as in one person having the privilege of having more than the other, because we are all the same. It doesn't matter if how far we are in our transition, we are still trans men. And I feel like it's more based on the fact that being black and trans, they feel like we're not able to buy testosterone or we're not able to afford you know, a name change or we're not able to commit to all of our transitions because we might not have the funding, but that's not true. We have a community that comes together that actually funds for us and we fight for our rights as who we are. And I feel like, you know, everyone's voice needs to be heard. It doesn't matter if you're pre-T, it doesn't matter if you're all the way through your transition because I've had people come to me and say, well, I've came to one trans guy and I asked them questions and they didn't respond back to me. And I'm like, well, it's because they feel like they're privileged. It feels like they feel like they have no response for you because they're already through their transition. They don't want to give you this information because they feel like, well, you got this. You can do it on your own. I did it on my own, but that's not true. Everyone needs help. Everybody needs guidance. And I'm actually working with a young trans man right now in Tennessee that's in foster care. He's 17 and um, he needed guidance and I was there to guide him to start name change, get it for free instead of having to pay $238 because that's how much it is to get your name changed and it shouldn't make sense. But um, I got his name changed for him. I started him um, through therapy and getting on testosterone and Planned Parenthood actually does that and it actually helps you get it for a low cost fund or for free. So I just wanna say like, I just wanna break that whole stigma of being black and trans and being trans in general, we're all the same. We do not have to fight over who has been here in their transition. We're all the same. We all love each other equally. And I just want to have like that family. And I actually run an organization in Tennessee called Trans Empowerment. And right now we're trying to make a safe space for the trans youth and for the youth, LGBT youth in general to come and focus on the education, 
and their artistic side and they could just come and stay as long as they want to or for the people that don't have a living space to go to after like if they get kicked out it's temporarily but hopefully we can just like get the funding for that to build that safe space for people and i feel like it'll, it'll stop a lot of suicide rates and people being homeless and having to go through foster care that isn't a healthy spot for them because this this young kid i'm working with right now actually doesn't have a safe environment with their foster parents because of the drug abuse and you know the abuse they're going through at their foster um, parents house so every foster home is not safe just so you know and we just want to make sure people are safe and you know happy so that's that's all I gotta say you know like on my end I could go on but I ain't gonna go on.